Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today I encountered a problem. I was trying to make a print, and personally I don't use supports for most of my prints, um, and I found this one print was really difficult. So we're actually going to go to Thingiverse here, and we'll download uh, Donald Duck. <laughs> of all things, this is actually a pretty difficult print. Um, and I think you'll quickly see why. If you understand how a 3D printer works, it has to print in layers, and uh, that's a significant overhang there, like that, that beak. So there's nothing underneath it. So what I decided to do was slice it in half. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. So we're just going to download our, our Donald Duck. We'll save that file. Then I'll bring it back once it's finished. All right, it is done. And now we will go into Fusion 360 here. Now we're going to open up our file. We'll go to open and then open from my computer. Then we'll choose that uh, Donald Duck bust that we found. There it goes, it's loaded. Now we have to, um, we have to actually cut this in half, but to do that we need to be in a mesh. But you don't see that here, right? So what we have to do is we have to turn it on our preferences. So we'll go up here to the top right to our name. We'll click on preferences. And down at the bottom left here you see preview features. And then mine shouldn't be selected. Yours won't be selected that is. But mesh workspace. You're going to click on this and you're going to hit apply and then hit OK. And then you're going to restart Fusion 360. So one last thing before we can find our mesh we have to go up here and we have to right, right click and then we have to click on do not capture design history once we can choose that now we should have the ability to select mesh up here and now we have all these options so what we're really interested in is plain cut which is this button right here now first you have to select Donald Duck and then we need to choose where we cut them at. See, we, we can drag this across and we'll see if it's about halfway. It's about we could figure it out, but um, just visually speaking, like you see this line right here, that's halfway. So now you see that Donald Duck here is cut in half, which would be nice and easy because if we print it on its side, then we don't have any really over real overhangs except for this. That probably won't be too problematic though. Now what we have to do is we have to fill this in because this can't just be open. There needs to be some support otherwise when you print on the top it's not going to print right either. So you can go over here to cut type first of all and we're going to select split body. Okay? If we just trim then we only get half of it. If we split body though we can now have both halves, which is nice. And we're going to look at fill type here. That's important as well. Well, let's go back to trim real quick, just so you can see this. Fill type, there's uniform and minimal and no fill. No fill is what we have right now. That's why you don't see anything. It just goes straight through. However, uniform is pretty good, but it is a little bit more, it's a bigger file. So we're just going to go to minimal. We're going to select that. And now you can see it's filled this in so that it has a bottom now too. Bottom being relative to the position that, or the orientation of this, but we are going to put it on its side. Or well, it will print on its side. Because uh, our printer is going to see that, oh, we have a, a whole flat surface here, then why would it try to print on this small flat surface? So it's going to print on this side. So now we can hit split body again. And we're going to hit OK. And once it's done, now you can see we can select, um, we have, well, we have this side and we also have this side. And so we're going to go over here to bodies and you can see there's two bodies now, which is nice. We can hide one and then you can scroll over and see it. So now you see that it has the, uh, the minimal here, the minimal, uh, facing. And then the other one will be the exact same way. So that's pretty cool. And now to save them so that you can print them, you have to click File, and then you have to click Export. 
and we're going to choose a place for it to export to. Sure, we'll, we'll write um, STL file and we'll name this uh, left side. Left side of Donald. Okay. And if we hit save. So we have to save this before we can actually export it. All right. So we're going to hit cancel. We're just going to show both and we're just going to save it and just hit save. All right. And that's all. Now you can actually export it. So we're going to deselect one of them. And then when you deselect one, it's only going to export the one that you see. So we're going to hit file, export, find our location, and change this to an STL file and name it left side. Okay. So we're going to hit save. And then that's going to press export there. And that's going to actually convert this. Well, it's already an, a, an STL, but it's going to save it as another STL. So then you have one half of him. So that when you print it, it prints just this side. And then you're going to do the exact same thing, but for the other side. We're just going to close this out. That's just telling us how long it's going to take. Well, it's going to tell us the progress that it's made. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to make sure it's an STL file. And we're going to then name this right side. Of Donald. And then we're going to click export once more. And then in a moment, once it's done, you'll see the pop up here. And when it wants, it wants to take its sweet time, obviously. So it might take a second. But basically, now this right here is going to tell you the status of each of these uploads. And it will take a couple minutes. But now you'll know that you can actually print this design on your printer without having to worry about those overhangs because you cut the object in, into two pieces that will both print nicely together and then you can just assemble it afterwards. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next. And we'll see you next time in the next video.